Hello everyone, happy to see you here. Really interesting brain test, of course, math problem for you today. We need to solve this interesting, interesting problem. Of course, as you can see, there is no huge number right here. We have only division and addition right here. So with no huge number. So it looks like the answer is obvious and a lot of students can solve it. But I want to suggest you to pause the video real quick and try to solve it by yourself. Write your suggestion in a comment. And of course, you will be uh, really surprised when the answer is is another because after 30 seconds I will solve this interesting problem. So there, there are two methods, the first method and the second method, how a lot of students solve this interesting problem. I want to start with the first one. So this is the first first method. What is this method about? Of course, we all know that we need to start with parentheses right here. Every time we need to start with parentheses, doesn't matter, addition, multiplication, division and subtraction, we need to start with parentheses and let's do this thing in this method. So we have 6 dividing by 3 and we need to multiply it by, by 2 because 1 plus 1 equal to 2. And as you can see, we have this situation. And a lot of students do this mistake that they continue with, with multiplication right here, because if you multiply 3 times 2, we will have 6. And the last step, we multiply it right here, and we need to divide the first number 6, dividing by this 6, it is equal to is equal to 1. And we have this option right here. Option A, we have this, this is option A, we solve it, is this equal to 1. But moreover, if we go a little bit in another order right here, so the second method, take a look closely, we have the second method. Of course, we need to start with parentheses every time right here, we need to start with parentheses. We have 6 dividing by 3 and multiplying by 2. As you can see, the same situation as right here in the first method. But moreover, as you can see in the first method, we go from right to left in this, in this way. But in this way, we go from left to right. Why we go from here? Because we have still have only division and multiplication. So there is no addition and subtraction. So if we have situation like that, if you don't have addition, if you don't have subtraction right here. So you need to go from left to right, doesn't matter, multiplication and division, we still go right here. If right here we have multiplication, division, division, multiplication, doesn't matter, in order, we still have division, multiplication, we go from left to right. Take a look closely, 6 dividing by 3 equal to 2, 2 times 2 equal to, equal to 4. And this is option B. We have this option right here, and this is a correct option. What do you think about these approaches? What do you think about this method? Write your suggestion in the comment, write your question in the comment. See you in the next video, leave a like, write any comment. It helps me a lot, it inspires me a lot to make new content. It's not hard to you, but it's really important for me. Thank you for watching, see you in the next videos. Have a great day.